A warning tonight for local homeowners. Think twice before hiding a spare key as a backup to get into your home. Now, this surveillance video is showing how a burglar found a key and used it to ransack the place. New at 5, Wash 2's Michelle Meredith is live in Winter Park with some tips to keep that secret key a secret. Michelle. Well, this guy was very clever. He got into the house without breaking in, and he did it by helping himself to the spare key. You're looking at a burglar at work. These are surveillance images of the guy just before he helped himself to $400 he found inside a home in southeast Orange County. How did he get in? Well, it's unusual because the burglar used the homeowner's own key to break into the house. Hiding a key under a mat, under the flower pot, or maybe in a place not so obvious. We do it because, well, we're human. I've even used it many t times when I inadvertently locked myself out or, and my wife. How did this guy find the key? Deputies think too many people in the family knew about it. Our advice is when you hide a spare key, don't tell anybody where it is. If your children come home and they need to get in the house, have them call you, tell them where the spare key is, let them use it, then hide it somewhere else. Especially important since many folks are in vacation mode this time of the year. More advice. There are plenty of gadgets that can help from the low-tech lock rock for $5.50. You attach a key to the back of the door. To the higher-tech lock box for $35. You can mount it. It's very secure. There's a combination. You set the combination. You can reset the combination. We also found a gadget that looks like a water sprinkler head. Bottom line, be careful, be warned, and if you have information that can help ID this guy, call Crime Line. Live in Orange County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.